Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Seven Watch Channel. Today, I'm gonna be building another premium Bandai Master Grade again, and this is the Asray Noir. Since I reviewed the Asray Brewing D a while ago, it's not, it's like a short time ago. So, I'm definitely building that rival of that specific series, the C Destiny Asray B, which will be the Asray Noir right here. So, you know, Astray Noir, there's two versions right now. So one version is the Premium Midnight Master Grey, which released at uh, 2014. Yes, 2014, yes. And then the other one is the high RAM version, which uh, which is a regular release, is a regular release. Anyway, so high RAM version is like a little bit more bulky, muscular, they follow the original settings. And for the Master Grey one, they are like a slightly skinnier. So they're kind of like fixing the overall scale i'm not sure how am i supposed to put it but anyway when you when you go look at the pictures you understand what i'm saying speaking for both scale and the settings i actually prefer the master grade one i don't really like mobile suit to be particularly bulky and muscular because uh, i don't know i just don't really like that scale thing you know but anyway Here's the Master Grey, so let's forget about let's forget about the high RAM. Maybe in the future I will start another series talking about like those characters, mobile suit, photo novels, manga that you don't read. So I just want to spread out the message and then spread out the knowledge and let more people to, you know, kind of like understanding the story, characters, and then those mobile suit. Maybe in the future I will do a series like this. So let me just give you like a little bit of backstory about the Asteroid Noir. So for those of you that watch the CE73 Stargazer, like a short episodes, you know, there's a company called Actium Company, I think that's called, and then they start a project called Actium Project. So Actium Project means that they you know, kind of like they collected the dollar from the G projects because the Earth Alliance said that, hey, we want to upgrade our uh, previous G projects. Can you just do the upgrade? And they like, be sure. And then so we have the Strike Noir, Blue Dew, Verdu Buster, uh, Nero Blitz, and the Rosso Aegis. That's the product of the Actium project. And Asteroid Noir was part of the Actium project as well. So this Astray Noir was specifically made for Dante Gorogini, aka a combat coordinator trainer. So he actually trained Murakumo Guy when Murakumo Guy was created by the Earth Alliance. So he's sort of like a trainer to Murakumo Guy, but you know, we know the story later. Murakumo Guy break free from the mental control and then the drug control as well. And then the brainwashing, he escaped from all of that, and then later he became a mercenary. Then Golagini later found him and then asked for a 1v1, and that's how this unit was founded. Anyway, maybe in the future, I will probably read the whole Seed Destiny Astray Beast photo novel with you guys, so it can help you guys to understand the story. So right now, Let's just take a look at the box art. So the box art right here, it looks absolutely amazing. It's, it's like uh, Astray Noir flying down about to slice you in half. It's a pretty cool scene. And then we also got those really weird clowns over it. I really like this. So again, just like all the premium Bandai, it don't really have like a side instruction video. Oh, wait, it does. Okay, so... <laughs> it's another ripoff. It's the Gundam Astro Red Frame. You know, Red Frame is really funny. So for the PG, XG, RG, they were regular release. And then for the Master Grade version, it's a premium Bandai. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Here we are. We got the instruction menu out already. There's the description of the Astro Noir, but it's all in Japanese and I can't read Japanese. So if you are someone that can read Japanese and you can just pause here and they basically get the information. Anyway, let's move on. So now let's just flip the instruction menu. Seems like a lot of part being wasted. Like you see a lot of crosses here and then you see some crosses at the B runner. We have multiple crosses at the J runner and the I runner. Mm, I would say probably the waste is uh, it's pretty average. It's not actually that much. So take a look at the instruction menu.
And this kit don't come with a action base. That's great. It doesn't come with an action base. That's great. Um, and we also have the water slide decal right here. So this time the decals mm, is actually not that much. And then we have the description of the character and then the Seat Destiny Astray R right here. And then we have back in the days the commercial of the Astray Reframe Premium Bandai. And then we also have the color chart right here. So first we got the P runner right here. This is for the Astray Universal Runners. We can see all the shoulder parts right here and this will be the legs part. We can see um, this is, oh my god, I forgot this part. Uh, oh my god. Uh, anyway, just forget about it. And this is the face and then we have the head again over here. And then we have the G runner again. Again, it's the universal runner of the Gundam Astray. We can see the torso parts and then near the waist. And then we have the legs part right here, the legs um, gimmicks. We have a V runner right here. This is a new runner for the Astray Noir. So we can see some handpiece armor right here. We can see the new antenna. We can see the striker backpack connection. For those of you that don't know, Astray Noir don't really have that normal Astray backpack. It have a striker pack joint. And other than that, um, we don't have a lot of things, okay? And then we have a lot of option hands right here. And then we also had the pile of figures. The rest of it, I'm not really sure. We have a universal A runner. So first we can take a look at this. This is the cockpit hatch. This is the torso, torso, head, 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 um, shoulders, shoulders frame, shoulders. And then we have the feet and then the clear piece for the head and cameras and then we have oh this one right here what's this uh i think it's the joint of the feet is it i forgot and then we have the face we have two old runners right here feet the h2 runner right here uh this is the small piece of the legs to kind of like um lock the joint and then we have this one right here for the ashtray backpack and this one right here for the for the piece that let the torso move side to side. We have a D runner right here. Um, it's the universal ashtray runner again. We have the torso parts. We have torso parts, torso parts, waist, legs, and then uh, feet. And then we also have the, oh, this is the neck. And then for these two right here, I don't remember. And then we have the full movable hand piece right here. And then we also have the piece that allow to let the backpack slide up and slide down. The next one right here is the K runner. This is from the Strike Noir Gundam MG runner. This is clearly the backpack. We can see the rail cannons and then we can see the, uh, what's that girl called? The anti-ship sword storage. And we also can see some, some piece from the backpack as well. We got two E1 runners, so let's just take one and then just describe it. Okay, so here's the E1 runner. We can see some hands part we can see some ah uh, is this the the connection of the legs and then we have the thumb and index we have the um this is the oh arms arms i remember this is the feet i mean wait, wait, wait. the legs frame legs firing and then we have the legs bar again and then we have the lower leg armor and then we have the rest of it is pretty much the same. We have the B run right here, hand piece, armor, waist part, waist part, waist part. We have, oh, oh, this is the, um, the, the one small piece under the cockpit. And then we have the front skirt, skirt armor, and then the legs armor. We have two Q runners, the Q runners from the Master Grace Strike Noir. This is the backpack part as well. So we can see the backpack wings and then we can see the, the, other layer of armor from the backpack wings as well. We can see two eye runners. So this one right here, you can see a beam rival. And then the rest of it, I don't think they are in use. So I don't need to describe it. So we have the A runner again. This is the A runner from the Strike Nor Master Grey. And this one right here, you can see the effect parts for the anti-ship sword. And then we have the pistols. Oh, actually, I will call them pistols. Yes, beam pistols right here. And then we have some parts for the backpack and these parts right here, I don't think they're in use. We have two C1 runners. So let's just take one and describe it. This C1 runner right here is from the Universal Astray runners again. So this is, 
legs part, legs part, and then oh, arms part, arms part, arms part. Mm. So this is just like some small pieces of the legs and arms part. We got the F runner. So this is the universal asteroid runner again. So we got the shoulder piece, full movable hand. We have the waist parts. And then this one right here will be the... Oh, I remember. What's that called? The, the armor above the feet. And then these two right here, I don't remember. And then for the rest of it, I don't really remember. This is the J runner from the Strike Noir Master Gray. And then we can see a lot of hands option. Maybe I can pull it out and then use it as well, but um, I'm not really sure. And then seriously, I don't know which part is in use or not. So it's very hard for me to guess, but I, but I hope these kind of hand options right here, I can cut it down and use it. So last runner is the R runner, is the Katanas, is from the Universal Asteroid runner. Again, you can see the Gabriel Strike and Tiger Piece engravings right here. So seriously, Bentai can just stop reusing this kind of Katanas. I not, I'm not saying that I don't like the Katanas, it's just I want you to remove the name because I don't think Asteroid Noir got like a specific name on their Katanas. Maybe I'm wrong. So two potty caps. And then we have the stickers right here. So this time, the stickers is pretty small. So the colors, I don't think you need to repaint a lot. And then we also have some nails right here. I'm not sure what these nails are for, but it's pretty confusing, these nails. And then lastly, we have the water slide decals right here. And that will be all of it. Great. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so we can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys at the review video. This is the end of the unboxing video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.